Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Heike, you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts and today is Wednesday, June the 10th. And this is going to be the third and last crafty chat for this week. Hi guys, how are you? Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm still super tired. Um, it's still dry, gray, rainy, dreary. It's exactly the type of weather that won't let you wake up. Baby girl, there's a laptop underneath. I know. My work laptop is up there and it's open already and it's it's running. Shh. <laughs> and I don't want her to step on it. So yeah, uh, it's exactly the type of day that won't let you wake up at all. It's even worse than yesterday and I thought yesterday was bad already. So um, yeah, <laughs> I hope that the sun will come out sometime soon again. I'm usually not much of a summer person per se. I don't like the heat, but um, I like to be awake at least a few hours a day. <laughs> No, 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 down. Ah. Can't lie down on that. It won't work. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into this because I have a feeling this is going to be really, really jumbled. Okay, so first up, as always, progress on diamond painting. I finished the section I set out to finish yesterday. We are now about an inch over the halfway point for this painting. I would say worst day, six more, worst, worst case, six more days. Jeez, I'm brain, what's going on? Um, maybe a day or two faster because, like I said, I have a long weekend ahead of me. Maybe I can manage to do a little bit more than one section per day, but no promises because, um, yeah, I'm trying to juggle three crafts and one is always taking a backseat and the one is knitting right now and I would like to change that again. Anyway, we're about an inch over the halfway point. So far it's looking really good, even though yesterday I decided that clearly whoever charted this made a charting error in little Aurora here because her face is charted in the same color as her hair is. And I do not believe that this is actually um, correct. Maleficent is different in her skin. You can see her hand here that is clearly skin toned, um, but Aurora's face and neck and arm um, is all charted in the same colors as her hair. So Kat is giving you a sneak peek. So I might go back and change that. The white is all right. That is a Maleficent's face as well. I just have to change out the yellow for the skin tone and um, at least one of the browns here for the darker skin tone. This is two, two colors. You can't actually see that very well, but it's two. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy how little Aurora turned out in this small size. So no complaints from my end here. And um, I already had a feeling I would manage, so I did not put down the black outline for this section that I'm going to work on today, but that's fine. Um, it was already later than I liked when I finished the section, but it had a lot of confetti. I mean, I knew that these highly detailed sections have a lot of confetti, so I was pretty much sure that I would like to do it, but would not be able to. So next time you're going to see this, um, I hope it will be nearly done. Uh, next crafty chat should be Monday, so at least four more sections should be completed, but maybe I can manage more, who knows. You'll have to wait and see and be surprised, I guess. <laughs> but I can really say I love working on this painting. Yes, it is a little bit small, so um, the decision to pull it and rechart it, if they are still going to do that, I probably should check with DAC if this is actually still the plan, um, is a good idea. I hope they are going to do that because I will absolutely repurchase this painting in a bigger size. 
Um, I always intended to because I always wanted to show the comparison. But um, now that I'm working on it, I would always do it just because this painting is so pretty and deserves to be given the best that it can get. And yeah, that means it needs to be a bit bigger. I kind of hope they are going above their usual 50 by 70 they use for the many Manzana paintings for this one. Because I think that might be a good idea for this painting. It's it's one of the, I believe it's one of the most detailed with all the stuff that goes on in the background. I would like to be able to really see the little fairies here because here's one, here's one and it's barely, I think here's another one. I'm not entirely sure. There should be three, but uh, I'm not entirely sure if, if that's supposed to be one. And I would be, I would love to be able to be sure, it's, you know. Uh, does the little image... Yeah, I think the third fairy is actually here somewhere. So, hmm. if I remember, I'll try to contact the AC and ask if they are still planning to release it and maybe if there's even a tentative release date for it yet. Would be great. So, that's the diamond painting part. Let's move on to, to uh, stitching. I'm still working, like I said, on the beautiful things by Lindy Stitches. And I managed exactly the three posts. And by the time I finished that, I think it was mm, half past midnight. So yeah, definitely not, not enough time to work on anything in between the posts. I'm going to do that today. Um, Yesterday this gave me a lot of trouble. I don't know why but my floss kept um, tangling and nodding and I'm only stitching this with one thread over two so I'm usually not used to a lot of nodding with just one thread but yep it did and it gave me a lot of trouble especially this last post here. I think it was too late by that point and I should have stopped but I wanted to finish them because I said I would and uh, I'm crazy like that. <laughs> but they are now and um, next time you see this I will stitch on this today, tomorrow and um, a little bit on Friday. The fence at least should be finished and I hope I will have a big chunk of the flower pot done as well. It's just one color and it's really compact so I hope that it um, will not be a lot of trouble to, to stitch that. And maybe it will even go faster than I think right now because like I said no, no real color change. That usually goes fast. I don't know why these posts took so long. To be honest, the letters didn't. So, hmm. I'm going to give you a bit of a close up so you can see the variegation a little better. I have to say, I'm I'm really falling in love with this one thread over two on thirty six count. I have a feeling on a hand dyed thirty six that would just be a little bit smaller because you might remember if you're new to stitching I talked about this before if you are a proficient stitcher you already know that and are probably rolling your eyes at me right now um, in the process of hand dyeing fabric unless it is ice dyed the fabric has to be um, has to be heated because the the dye needs the heat to set and yeah hi baby and that usually because this is linen but it also happens to ada and to even weave so it's not just a linen thing but we all know that linen shrinks if it's heated so if you wash it too too hot your clothes are going to shrink and yeah that that of course happens in the process of hand dyeing the fabric too and that's why um the count uh cat hair nice the count they give you is the count they started out with but if you would be very very um exact about it and would actually count the threads yourself after dying you would notice that it's always a little bit smaller afterwards so a 36 pre-dying i guess is probably not quite a 40 afterwards but no longer a 36 either and cat yeah i love that you are pushing the frame I'm going to take the mouse careful 
going to take the mouse away and that gives us a little more space. I know it's a rainy day, you want to cuddle, I know that. So I think that uh, a, a 36 with one thread might become my other favorite fabric. So far, 28 with two strands is my favorite. 32 is all right, but um, when it's hand dyed, it's this awkward line where two strands is a bit too much for my liking. The crosses start to look very mm, crooked to me. So I'm not the biggest fan of that count. Um, one strand though looks too sparse to me. I know some people stitch with one, one strand of thread on 32 count, but I can't do that and like it. I've tried that, it's not, nope, nope. Um, yeah, so maybe 36 is going to be my second choice for fabrics or maybe even my first because I actually like how the crosses look on on the fabric if you just use one strand of, of floss. So maybe we will see. I mean, this one here, I would not recommend to go bigger as far as, as a fabric count goes because this in a 36 is already giant in my opinion. I mean, we can check this is about nine inches, I think, nine and a half inches. Oh, let's let's be more accurate here. Nine inches, that's pretty big. It's pretty big. <laughs> I would not go bigger. Um, if you do that in a 28, it's probably going to be giant. I mean, if you want big pieces on your wall, go for it. But I think this is fine. Um, yeah. I'm soldiering along, not as quick as I thought it would be, but I guess it's not a race. I shouldn't, I shouldn't try to overachieve, especially not on a normal day. Um, and I enjoy stitching on this, so there is no need to rush. So anyway, plan for today is to finish the fence and hopefully I manage a small start on the flower pot. And then Thursday, Friday, I don't want to say I want to finish the pot because it's a big chunk of stitching, but I really would like to finish the pot. <laughs> I guess you'll see on, on Monday. And Friday, um, I think it's around 6 p.m. my time, the third part of the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Chinese Zodiac Stitch Along will drop and then I'll move over to that one and finish that first. Um, so far, I've been pretty fast with that stitch, so maybe you will see that finished on Monday too. But I'm not making any promises. Because we are moving over to section 3 of this and the knitting, and I don't have to, don't have any progress to show to you on the hard shawl. And that's something I would like to not repeat on Monday. So I will dedicate some of the time over this weekend for um, knitting. I want to at least finish that first skein of yarn. And that's totally possible. If I had kept with my one hard a day plan, that skein would be finished by now. Um, I think I can get four more hearts out of that, maybe three and a half. I'm currently in the middle of one heart section, so maybe that one and then three more. Um, so that is the plan that I can show you that on Monday. What I can show you today is the next yarn and pattern I have planned and it's more hedgerow yarns because I seem to be very infatuated with them as is the cat. I don't know if it's the alpaca or the fact that she always puts, um, uh, what is the word cat? Don't, don't add more hair to my yarn. Tell me what the word is. Um, <laughs> lavender. <laughs> she pulls li puts little lavender pillows in the package and that's why the yarn smells like lavender. <laughs> Which is, by the way, a smell I used to hate with a passion, but I've grown to, to like in the last five to seven years or so. I really used to hate it. I don't know why. So I, I bought more, more alpaca yarn. 
So this is once again the luxury alpaca base, the baby alpaca silk cashmere um, fingering weight yarn. And I purchased these two skeins actually with a pattern in mind, so I don't know why I haven't showed it to you yet. But I uh, looked for the pattern first and then I chose the, the yarn. I hope this will be enough contrast to show um, off the striping, but it should be because this is pretty much a solid, even though the color repeats a little bit in this variegated. But this is a solid and this is the variegated that fit very nicely together in my opinion. And the pattern I have chosen is the Because I Love You Shawl. Or wrap, she calls it a wrap, but actually it's a, it's a it's a triangle shawl, an as an asymmetric triangle shawl, and the pattern is by Amy Meeks. As always, it will be linked down below. I'll give you the direct link to the pattern on Ravelry. Um, as always, no affiliation, nothing for me in it, just for your information and nothing else. Um, so this is a pattern that uses not quite two skeins of yarn but I need one skein of each color and um, it is a not too complicated pattern as you can see. It is just very pretty in the end and um, it's it's a doable thing I guess. Right now all the patterns that appeal to me are very complicated and I am not ready yet to, to bog myself down with that. Anyway in yesterday's Was it yesterday's video? No, the day before that. Um, Monday. Ah, cat hair. Pooh. Why have a cat hair in my mouth? I did not lick the cat. <laughs> I'm quite sure about that. <laughs> in my video on Monday, I showed you the the um, colors and the yarn I purchased to try some dyeing. And I mentioned that the, the single ply wump single ply yarn in there was an alpaca based yarn and I did not understand how something like that could be as stiff and hard like that. It's it's really hard to describe how this yarn feels but it feels hard to me you know like there's some coating on the yarn so yeah and I don't know how you achieve that with alpaca. I mean are adult alpacas so much harder than baby alpacas because this year Jeez, this is a this is as soft as the cat. <laughs> no, you are softer, baby. You are softer. I know that. And I don't know if you know, but ragdoll cats have um ah sorry. Itchy nose because of cat hair. Yeah. Ragdoll cats have very fine soft fur. It feels like rabbit fur. Um And every time I touch a yarn, which which I call ooh soft, it usually goes in that direction, um, and I'm very partial to that. So that is probably why this is my all-time favorite yarn base so far. So far, I've only gotten it from Hetero Yarn. I think I found in another sh shop that might have this, but I have not tried it. Um, I do hope so, though, because it's it's a super and a super hairy yarn now. Um, it's a super, super, super soft yarn. I can very well imagine wearing that. I'm a bit sensitive to, to yarn direct on skin. A lot of, of the yarns are scratchy. That's the reason why I am currently not thinking about knitting socks. Um, I've had hand knit socks in the past from other people who knit and I love them dearly, but I can't wear them. They, my feet will, will start to itch and it's all uncomfortable. I can wear them as a second pair of socks over another one as a replacement for slippers basically because I don't wear those like ever. I stopped after kindergarten where they were mandatory. <laughs> I don't know why I never have. My my father to this day it drives him crazy that I don't wear um, slippers in the house but I don't. I don't want to. Um, so I usually, if I actually do get cold feet, I wear a second pair of socks. And that can very well be hand knit socks as long as I have something um, cotton and sto store bought underneath. So 
which is a bit sad because I think knitting socks would be fun. But what's, what's, yeah, why? <laughs> why if I can't wear them? Anyway, I would not recommend using this yarn for socks anyway. Um, it is, she calls it luxury alpaca for a reason. So it would be very wasteful, in my opinion, to use it for socks. But you do you. It's a four ply, so I guess it's strong enough. Not making any promises. All right, guys, so this is the plan for this yarn. Um, this yarn and the one I showed you, the sock set, the Lupin sock set, um, came from my latest order. I placed from her website and I had one skein of um, regular sock yarn in there as well. And I'm still looking for a pattern for that because that was a one of a kind and she only had one skein. Um, and I basically bought it because it was ooh shiny and on sale. <laughs> so <laughs> unlike these two and the sock set, I did not have a plan for that when I bought it. But I'm currently looking for a pattern for that. I think it's going to become a cowl. And um, yeah, I'm currently looking at some of the cowls that Erin corrupted. Because I mentioned before, I love her pattern. I have a feeling the cat wants a blanket out of this yarn. Could that be, cat? Do you want a luxury alpaca blanket? Back in the day when we got our cats, um, like, 11 and a half years ago now, <laughs> um, I read that cats love sheep fur. So I bought a sheep fur pillow. It was not one of these um, roughly sheep-shaped things you can get everywhere and can put yeah can put in front of your fireplace instead of a bear. <laughs> but it was really from from a pet distributor, from from a pet shop. Um, just the stuff, not the pets. Um, I bought this and she slept on it exactly one time. She slept on it hard, like six hours or so, and afterwards that thing was banned from their life. <laughs> so, Kat, if I need a blanket for you from luxury baby alpaca yarn, and you do not use it. She's old, you're go still going to love me. <laughs> <laughs> you are a menace, 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 menace. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm stalling. I'm sorry. Um, I think I'm just going to say goodbye. Uh, I Like I mentioned before, I have a diamond painting unboxing for you tomorrow. It's a shop. I uh, Not exactly a shop. It's, it's a manufacturer I have never tried before. It's actually a cross-stitch manufacturer who does now diamond painting kits. There are multiple now, I have discovered. So I ordered um, a test kit, a small one. And I'm going to give you the unboxing tomorrow. And I have finally edited and uploaded the final review for the Star or Poppies I did in March. And I'm sorry it took me so long. I don't know why. I just, the, the video sat there on my hard drive and I never, never just sat down and edited it. It's not like it's a super long video and a lot of work to edit a post review. Usually there is not a lot I have to put in there, but I just never did do that. So I finally have done it yesterday and it's up now and it's going to be live on Friday. The next crafty chat should be on Monday, so I am going to wish you a wonderful weekend today because the next two videos are actually filmed, I think, a week and the other one three months ago now. <laughs> so not quite up to date. And yeah, enjoy, enjoy whatever you're doing. Enjoy the time with your family if you can manage to squeeze some in. And I will be back on Monday. Bye, guys.